Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do another daily vibe because I, I feel the need to do so. I'm going to use this deck right here. This deck is very, very deep for me. It's very deep. Um, I haven't read the book. I don't read the books, so I don't know the interpretation of these cards other than what I see. And that's how I read anyway. But we're just going to see what comes up. Um, what do we have for an upcoming energy? Uh... This is an 11. Typically 11 for me is the Justice card. But from what I see from this card, somebody is getting caught. Somebody is getting caught. There is justice. They aren't going to get away with it. They aren't going to get away with it. Somebody is getting caught. This is karma. I would, I would consider this karma. Somebody thought they were going to get away with it, but they're not. They're getting caught. Somebody is about to get caught. They thought they were going to get away with it, but they're not. We get the Queen of Wands. So, could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody that it may have something to do with a mother and a child this well, there could be some upcoming legal issues or it has to do with legal issues or something that this is a mother and a child here but this is this tells me that they're getting caught now this is um she doesn't look very happy somebody looks doesn't look very happy It feels like um, I don't know. There's some sort of depression. It looks like there's a depression here, of some sort. This has somebody may have a child all I don't know overly protected. There's some. There could be some sort of overprotection here, or we could have a mother that is protecting their child even. Which is interesting. So I don't know how that resonates with you. I would say, and this must be the King of Wands, and this would be the Queen of Wands. So this is taking action. There's a definitely a protective energy here, and it feels like we have a mother that is going to be protecting their child, and I'm not sure if this mother is in this lifetime or not, or it's a motherly figure. You notice there's some sort of fire coming out of this dragon's nose that is, you know, uh, going to stop somebody in their tracks. So somebody is going to be stopped. Somebody is going to be stopped in their tracks. And maybe it's a father because this is the king of wands. That's a king and this is the queen. So, you know, and she doesn't, she looks pissed. So we could have a mother that is pissed. going to stop somebody in their tracks. Um, there is some sort of justice or karma that is coming. Very interesting. This is the lover's card. Uh, this is une expect the unexpected, okay? There's going to be an unexpected choice, an unexpected decision. There's consequences here as well. Somebody may be suffering some sort of consequences for their actions. Could be dealing with we, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a Libra here. We have Gemini. But this is, and then we have the king and queen of the same suit. So for some of you, some of you may be uh, running into somebody. It could be a soulmate connection. There could be a soul, we could have two people coming together. I know I'm changing the subject, but this is about balance. 
and this is this is a soulmate connection so we do have two people coming together um, stopping somebody in their track somebody is being stopped okay they're being stopped and it maybe it could even be pulled over I'm not sure what is going on but something to do with the law as well there is some sort of karma there is some sort of justice something that is going to happen um, this is being stopped okay so I don't know what that means somebody could end up even be pulled over now this lovers card is um, now, I don't know if there's some sort of legal contract. There, this could be a legal or a karmic contract or something like that because this, these are both con contract cards. Something to do with a contract. Um, this is very. This is a very beautiful connection. This is a. This is a choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice, probably between two. They're going to be presented with an option and they're going to make a choice. So there's going to be a decision that a decision that is going to be be made. Seven of Cups, there's multiple options. There's an option, there's an opportunity for a new beginning. Okay, there's a rabbit coming up. Um, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. But there's a, these are both cards of consequences. So there's some sort of consequences. Somebody is going to be paying some sort of consequences for their actions, for their poor choices in the past. There, there, there has, there has to do something with a mother. Okay, mother and child, something like that. Maybe the mother is coming to the rescue, and I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody, or the law, or karma, or something like that. Um, there definitely is somebody that is taking action to bring justice to a situation and stop somebody. They're going to be bringing two people together as well because there's go this is a commitment. It is a union. All right. The lover's card is some sort of union that is going to bring balance to a situation with that justice card. There's going to be some sort of realignment. Okay. That's what I think there is, is going to be a realignment. Um, there's been some sort of disillusionment here. But it feels like there's going to, there's some sort of divine protection. You know, there's nothing to worry about because protection is going to arrive. Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands is, is a very too much. This is too much. It's too much. This is this is a feeling of too busy, too much. There's too much. This is too much. This is overwhelming. Need to get out. There's too much going on. This is a mess. This is a very messy situation. Oh my goodness. I feel as though we haven't, there's some sort of protection that is coming to help somebody, to help somebody through a difficult situation. We have an individual that is in a very difficult situation. It is a very difficult situation. There, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. Okay, there is. There's going to, decision, decision, decision. There's a decision that needs to be made. There's a choice. There is some sort of choice. There's going to be multiple options. There's definitely going to be an option of there's two in particular. There's two choices here in particular that are the most prominent. So there could be a father figure that is making a choice between two people. Somebody is arriving. Somebody is arriving. This person is being brought in. They are. They're being brought in. I feel like they're being brought in. If you think usually in the lover's card, there's usually an angel above it that is... That is bringing somebody in. 
to change the circumstances. But you're going to have to beware that there will be consequences for your choice. There's consequences in both those cards. This is a very overwhelming decision. Somebody is going to be overwhelmed with the option that they are presented. Somebody is going to be presented an unexpected opportunity to go down a new path with somebody else. This is a soulmate connection. It is. It's a divine. It's meant to be. It's destined. It, this is a. This is somebody that they will. Uh, connect with very well. They will feel a deep, deep connection with probably instantly. They will have a lot in common with this person. But they will have to, they will have to make a choice between that person and somebody else. There's a choice between two here. And it's about doing the right thing. It's about acting with integrity Somebody's going to be getting into a new contract. It's like help is arriving. The Hierophant. Now this is this is your higher power. God. It's like the answer to your prayers. Somebody's prayers have been heard. I don't know whose message this is. But be prepared for somebody to come in suddenly. This is all of a sudden. It is the lovers. It's an unexpected choice in love that is brought to you from above. I know that it is. I feel like it is either God or somebody that has passed away that is bringing somebody in to help the situation that has held you back, that has burdened you, that has caused you so much overwhelming discontent they're bringing somebody another option and this is about commitment and this is about commitment somebody may be getting into a new commitment signing a new contract or getting into a new contract with somebody Whoever this person is, it's a perfect match. And it could lead to marriage. It could lead to marriage. It could lead to a long-term commitment. But with this Seven of Cups, there is a need to be careful with your choices. Because there could be consequences if you choose the wrong one. There's obviously going to be an option between two people. Could be the one that you're with and somebody else. You know, whatever the case is, this is an unexpected choice in love. There's definitely a higher power involved and you're going to need to use your gut. Follow your gut. Now this is about responsibility. So somebody, you know, the Ten of Wands is about responsibility. Overwhelmed with responsibility. Knight of Cups, there is an offer of love coming in, emotional support, somebody that is looking for love, looking for a relationship. Could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn. There's going to be a strong desire and temptation to give in to this person. Okay, there's lust. There is lust. There's a strong desire. We also have uh, some sort of greed here as well. So you definitely need to be careful. Be careful for false beginnings. There's options. Somebody is about to be 
connected with somebody that they did not expect and this is this is somebody from above that is bringing these two people together good luck 